I worked on the development of the new PL3, and so, as you can imagine, I'm absolutely biased. That being said, I think that what we did is absolutely amazing, and I think we came up with a great product. They say a good sign to know if you've made a good job is to answer the question, would you buy it yourself? And my answer would definitely be yes. And in this video, I'll show you why. So to show you the whole experience, let me show you what you would get on your doorsteps a few days after placing your order for a PL3 system from our PL3 website. So before we get started, let's take a look at the scanner first. So first of all, it features a uniquely designed triangulated handle, one that's useful to hold the scanner in different positions. This is going to come in real handy when scanning an object in different positions. And then we can look at the front of the scanner. Uh, so you have the two geometries camera uh, surrounded by uh, infrared LEDs. Uh, these are going to be used uh, to detect the targets um, when scanning an object. And then you have the, the color camera here in the middle surrounded by white LEDs. And finally you have the infrared light uh, projector. So this one is going to be used to project a, a line pattern onto the object uh, in order to detect the geometries. And finally, we have an LCD screen here at the back. As of, as of now, it's in idle state. That's why you see the PL3D logo. Uh, but this is a touch screen, so it's interactive, and it's going to allow, allow me to get access to the different commands and controls directly onto my scanner so I don't have to walk back to my computer on the go. Part of the packaging is this cardboard sleeve and on it there's a QR code that's going to take you to the customer portal. At this place you'll be able to register uh, your PL3 unit and get access to the downloads uh, to get your PL.OS installers and start scanning. Okay, so this is the part 
that we're going to be scanning today. So this is a car manifold. And so in order to get started, I'll just set my parameters uh, inside of my software. So this is approximately a medium sized part. I'll set the details to normal uh, and then use regular output enhanced and then I don't need to capture the color. And so in order to get started, I just need to press the start button on my scanner and just start scanning my part directly. Scanning is just as simple as you would imagine. The scanner automatically uses any valuable information for positioning and guides you toward completion of your scan. You can also adjust parameters on the go with the touchscreen and maintain the right distance from the object using the on-screen guidance and distance meter on the touchscreen. Everything has been optimized in order to minimize clicks and be as intuitive as possible. Toolbars have been reimagined, relocated, and the results is simply magnificent. This is how you clean a scan. And once you're done, you can flip your part, you can add another scan, and you can merge it immediately and automatically. Scans are automatically aligned throughout the workflow, but should you need to constrain your scan in a particular position, it's now easier than ever before with the new reinvented alignment tool. You simply need to constrain axes one by one to define a new origin. This is super intuitive and efficient. Every button has a tooltip giving you information on what the function is and what it does. Tooltips support images and GIFs when appropriate, Help videos have also been directly integrated into the software to provide additional information when required. Help is basically right there where you need it. And as you can see, it packs quite a punch. The new Peel 3 is much better with intricate objects and details. The walls, the edges, they're also much cleaner, making Peel 3 a lot more suitable for small parts. Colors have also been improved significantly as they feel more realistic and even challenging surfaces. For instance, this bare shining metal wheel. Well, as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's a significant gain versus the previous generation of scanners. We're also improving the way we'll be presenting the specs with a more new intuitive way to describe the capabilities of the scanner. Adding new specifications called measurement capabilities, they're going to be quite useful to describe expected performance when capturing a specific shape. With these new specs, we're basically answering the questions such as what hole diameter can I capture with this? Or will it be able to capture this pin or this wall? This is what you, the customers, are trying to figure by reading the spec sheets. And so we thought we would help you as much as we can. We're also changing the way we'll be expressing scanning speed. You see, a high amount of data per second can be quite impressive on paper, but if your scanner struggles with positioning, users might have a hard time covering objects, and so data will be redundant and semi-useless. Therefore, we now express it in seconds per squared meter. This takes into consideration data acquisition speed, but also tracking capability and field of view size. Also available as an option with Peel3 is Peel.CAD, our reverse engineering module to use your scans in your favorite CAD software. It features more advanced tools and basically everything you need to extract the useful information from a scan and directly transfer it to SOLIDWORKS, to Inventor, or SolidEdge. Peel.CAD also exports IGES and STEP files in case you need to use with another CAD software. One of the reasons why we're so proud of our new Peel3 scanner is because it's designed, assembled, and calibrated right here in Canada. But let me show you. There's so much more that I would like to tell you about the new PL3, but hopefully this video answered some of the questions that you might have. We've come a long way since we started PL3D in 2017, and this new generation of PL3D scanner has a lot of potential. That's it for now. Stay tuned for more content. Remember to like and subscribe to get all the latest information about PL3. Thanks for watching.